Hello traders once again and welcome to the Forex Board Trading Academy. Today we will be presenting the second analysis. This time it will be for the New Zealand versus the Japanese yen currency pair. Before we get started, I would like to remind you that all information in this video is for educational purpose only should not be considered as a financial advice. And since you're watching this video, maybe you still haven't subscribed, you can do that right away not to miss any of the videos we do every single day. So you will help us to promote the channel and we will try to produce more interesting content for you. Let's get started with the New Zealand Japanese Yen on the four hour time frame. The interesting point, I think the most interesting point is the MACD. The MACD formed a double bearish divergence. We can see that from this point onwards, price has been rising. So new high highs were produced while the MACD started to produce lower lows. So this is a clearly a longer term bearish divergence. At the same time, from this point onwards, there was another bearish divergence where the price went up. MACD failed to produce a new higher high. This clearly shows that there is a potential weakness in price that is incoming. Of course, it will be extremely important that the price will remain below the psychological resistance at 74, slightly above uh, 7402, that was the highest point. So this is the resistance. And it's very important that it will remain below. And as long as it is below, the risk to reward ratio for sellers is extremely good, considering that currently price is at 7380. So all in all, what we have is the potential decline of 130 pips with a potential risk of about 25 pips. Makes it a very good risk to reward about 1 to 5. At the same time, we can see the exponential moving average. If it continues to rise slightly, the price can meet the moving average at this spot. Now, this is the downside support or target, which is confirmed now not only by the moving average, both of them actually could be acting as the support, but also confirmed by 61.8 FIPS applied to this last wave to the upside. And finally, we have the average price uptrend trend line also corresponding to this support, which could be very, very important in the short to medium term, because it's only 130 pips could take literally a few days for the price to get at this level. And the final two points is that we have the uptrend trend line, simple uptrend trend line. There was a break below the trend line. So this is already a confirmation that the trend might be changing. While many sellers could be entering at the breakout, now the price is definitely better. This is because we approached the 88.6 FIPS, nearly tested it. I mean, just one of your pips didn't reach the 88.6 FIPS. And this level is usually the highest point of correction. If price getting higher, breaks higher, this means that there is a potential for either double top or uptrend continuation. And as long as the price stays below this area, which is between 73.92 and 74.02, only 10 pip resistance area, then we can expect the fast move to the downside. Well, if there will be break below, this supports 61.8, it means that the most likely moving averages will also get broken. In this scenario, I think that the price is likely to test either this support at 71.47 or go even lower towards this support area, which previously clearly was a very strong resistance at 70.40. But we're only looking for this one fast move down on the New Zealand Japanese yen that might result in 130 pips decline. So this is it on this currency pair. Let's see whether the price will break to the upside or not. Chances are it might go higher, invalidate the trade. But considering this risk to reward ratio is extremely interesting, I think sellers could be stepping in. Nonetheless, still pretty risky because it's against the trend. So it might be also an uptrend continuation. Just thought you should consider that as well. And uh, we are gonna go very quickly through all the pairs we had analyzed previously because we already did it today. Australian versus the dollar, very strong trend continues as you can see. So we are yet a lot to go based on our previous analysis where we posted 
the forecast at the 7020 so basically expecting 1200 or 1400 pip to the upside move at the end so this is where the trend might be ending for now still very bullish especially considering that we are breaking above this resistance on the other hand the new zealand dollar could be correcting well it could be the same with the australian dollar but there could be this correction and along with the new zealand japanese yen it could be moving down not expecting a very strong move to the downside but if we look at the nearest support it's 114 pips away more or less the same as the new zealand japanese yen so could be that new zealand will drive this pair down the euro dollar is uh, struggling to go higher or lower just basically slowly declining but nothing major let's see if there will be a break either to the upside or downside but for now still expecting the corrective move down as long as this trend line holds at least the euro pound we produced a double top here and uh, as long as it resistance this resistance holds i think there is a chance for the downside move the very important thing is that price failed to break above the previously made high but it might still break to the upside so let's see wait and see whether it will manage or not if not i would expect a corrective move down pound dollar we expecting the correction maybe it will be extended towards one of the red lines but long term bullish pound swiss franc here also very important that the daily close will stay above the 118 zero eight if so there is a good chance that the price will go up but if close below maybe it will be going down more dollar canadian very important also to stay above the trend line if not there will be most likely further downtrend pound japanese yen here it could correct down towards this support once again to retest it so yet again reminding you that this could have been a double top and considering that we have new zealand japanese yen down there could be 100 or even more pips down before the uptrend will continue but for now i would be very cautious because this seems like it has been a double top produced near 140.33 so very cautious here it might be going down canadian japanese yen expecting the uptrend on this pair guys it's a canadian dollar strength that seems to be driving this currency pair if we can see new zealand dollar japanese yen that we're expecting to go down it's a New Zealand dollar that will be driving the pair. So maybe Japanese yen has nothing to do with any of these pairs. In this case, we will have these analysis going the direction expected, disregarding that they seem like a hedge trades. Canadian Swiss franc also seems very good looking for this fast move to the upside towards one of the resistance. Of course, the nearest one should be watched closely because it is a double top formation potentially. So this is the key resistance to watch. Only break above could be pushing price higher. The Australian New Zealand dollar expecting the strong correction. But if we hold the channel, which as you can see is being rejected, this could be bullish. So we need now to break above the channel and then correct then this will be a good opportunity for buyers now if there will be this rejection and the price will be going down this means there is a potential for further downside move so i really want to see the break above this channel break and close at least one hour break and close would be excellent and then waiting for the correction down so looking watching on this currency pair for this breakout and then maybe we will see a good correction on the other hand we have new zealand japanese yen sell right now and new zealand dollar sell which still confirms the bullish sign for the australian new zealand and it could be going up non-stop this is probably the case that we will see for this currency pair of course we need to break this high so that's it that's our second analysis for today new zealand japanese yen with an excellent risk to reward ratio for sellers but need to make sure that this resistance holds of course it seems like the 88.6 will get rejected but if that's the case will be interesting to see the price action of tomorrow's thank you guys for watching once again if you haven't subscribed do it now not to miss the videos we do every day if you enjoyed the video smash that like button and i will see you all tomorrow with a new analysis take care and profits to you